What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Nathan. Today we've just done a reverse camera mirror kit on that Nissan Pulsar behind me and we're at the stage of powering it up and we're going to go to the fuse box to get our power. So what I want to do is actually go through and show you guys how to connect to a fuse box. Uh, they'll show you, we'll show you a couple different ways of how to do it and the whole point of it is so you guys and DIY guys don't need to just tap onto random wires in the car which is really not a good idea it's not how the professionals do it it's not how you should do it um, you know you don't know what circuit you're tapping onto um, yeah you know there can be a whole range of problems um, that we don't need to get into because we're going to show you how to do it properly um, so what we'll start with is the add circuit or fuse tap which is a very easy part to get you can get it from any auto parts store um, so what we'll do is we'll go to the bench and we'll have a look now at the different types that you have um, and before you go and get it what you want to do is just go to the fuse box on the car so we can see that those fuses are mini fuses so we'll go ahead and get them now finding the fuse box in the car is the first thing you want to do so obviously let's say you've done a dash camera uh, you've mounted your dash camera before you start running wires and try to get power just map out everything so Find the fuse box, in this case, under the steering wheel on the right hand side, uh, might be behind the glove box, might even be in the back in the boot, but you find the fuse box and we'll connect to it there. Okay guys, so here we have our add circuits or fuse taps. Um, so basically we've figured out what size fuse we need and this is just your normal standard fuse size. Um, that's gonna be common in a lot of cars. Here we have the mini and we've also put the fuses in there, so we'll show you how the, exactly how they work. We have the Micro 2. So as you can see, there's a difference in size between these two, obviously, and Micro. So uh, these are the most common ones that, you will, that you'll see. What we've done here, put, we've put the fuses in. So basically, just to give you an idea how this works, uh, we remove the fuse that was already in the car we put it in the first slot, and then we put the fuse that we're going to use for our system in the back slot there, okay? And then that sort of lets the original circuit work as it would, and you have your inputs and your outputs from the car, we'll go through all of this. And then this fuse here is obviously we're gonna have, so this side will be the input from the car, and this will be the output to your circuit. Um, so hopefully that makes sense, but we will go, uh, we'll do this in the car as well. Lastly, there's this. So, pop in your fuse, as we can see, it'll be a mini fuse there. Chop the wire, and then you can tap onto a wire, tap onto your circuit. Now, I did say not to do this, but if for whatever reason you have no choice and you need to, this is what you need to use. So, uh, we've added a fuse between the car and your product, and you know we're keeping everything safe. This is a last option and not recommended, you know, but if you need it, you know, they make it for a reason. Okay, cool. All right, guys, so we've located the fuse box um, just behind this panel. So it's nice and easy. We've got one little clip that, you know, sort of sits behind there. So we just pull that up, that drops down. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our test light. We have an LED test light here. So we'll ground the alligator clips um so as you can see that's the body but i'm just going to ground it on the door here okay so what you need to do is behind this panel there's going to be a map out okay so the best way to do this is i look at the fuses all right so we have 10 10 10 20. So, it looks like it goes this way. Or oh, you've got even an arrow there. There you go. I like to do things the hard way, but this arrow shows you which way the fuse works. So we've got ignition here, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, 15, 15, 15, 15. All right, so we know where we are now to map out what we're gonna tap onto. When we just probe the pins, all right, so these are lighting up. So that tells us that these are constant power fuses. All right, not that, these ones. And the ones that don't light up like that until you 
turn the ignition on our ignition fuses. So we don't want to just go ahead and pull out any fuse. We've got a little fuse popper, pu puller thing here. Um, because if we pull that out and it's an airbag fuse, like, oh well, if, yeah, whatever, if it's an airbag fuse, um, major issues. So we'll go ahead and look at this. What you want to use, so automatic control, no way. Electronic parts, no way. O2 sensor, no way. I'll give you an idea. Power socket, battery and 15. So we have a, a power socket that has battery power. So if we do that, it's gonna be one, one, two, three fuses up as a 15. So that's it there. So we can use that for battery power or constant power if you want. Ignition power, airbag, obviously stay right away from that. We wanna look at, yeah, cigarette lighter. Yeah, right, so if we put that back up there, 15, 15 cigarette lighter. So that's the one we're gonna go for. So the way to do. Okay, so once we found the fuse that we want, which we've obviously looked at our map out. By the way, guys, if you pull off your panel, uh, if, whether it's this or somewhere else, and you don't see that sticker on the back, you need to go to the book in the car, okay? Because we need that, you don't want random fuses. Okay. So what we do is pull out the fuse that we want, which is the ignition fuse, right, for the cigarette lighter. Turn the car on. We have nothing here. So what that tells us is that this is going to the circuit or the cigarette lighter. This has power. So this is coming from the car side, right, and how it will work is, we'll use this as an example. It comes from the car side, which is here, through the fuse, out to the circuit. So when we pop that in, we need the input and output to be away from each other. We don't want that because then your fuse isn't doing anything. We need to go, we need to go that way. So we see where the power comes from. It goes, all right, we'll put that in. It goes through the fuses and out to the output. And we know that we're getting uh, fused power and the, the original power that was in there the original fuse uh, which was a 15 amp will go at the front and usually a 5 amp for whatever you're, you're going to use um, in the back end just look at what uh, current draw that your product has and then that's it pop it in there go ahead and crimp your wire on tape it all up make it nice and off you go um, another way now I don't recommend this but it is another way to do it. You've got spare fuses here, so if uh, you DIY guys are trying to save some money or do it on the cheap, this is another way you can do it. Oops. Let's just pretend that's your circuit. We can tap the wire onto the fuse there. You can put some solder on that or even worse, do this. I actually done a, uh, fixed a job for somebody and I'd saw that they'd done this and you know again I, would, I don't do this I don't recommend it but if you're doing your own job at home and all you've got is a fuse it's not the worst thing at least you're getting a, at least you're getting fused power okay so nothing power up oh, sorry yeah ignition's off but just turn on power so same thing we're gonna get output uh, input from the car through the fuse out to our wire so we just go ahead and push that in like that and then this isn't gonna have power in it because we don't have a fuse in here but whatever just pretend that you're on a circuit if you've got something like this this is the power for the um, reverse camera kit that we've done what I'm going to do is use one of those fuse jumps the proper thing that I showed you and a female socket plug in the socket it's gonna have two wires power which will get from our uh, cigarette lighter plug power fuse and ground. We can undo this bolt, put a terminal on it, go behind there, or we can go behind this panel, um, or whatever, for ground, okay? And that is about it. So that's how you connect to the fuse box in a car. Um, hopefully that helped you guys. If you have any questions, anything doesn't work, or anything, anything, just drop a comment below. Uh, we try to reply to every comment, so we're happy to help you guys. Um, thanks for watching. If you, if the video helped you, like the video. It does help our channel. Um, and as you can see, we've got videos showing you guys how to do all sorts of installations, reviews, all that good stuff. Thanks.